How's it going, everyone? Welcome to Keystone Academy, and welcome back. I know it's been a little while. We had a pretty busy summer and fall, but we are back to review the newest member of the team, the Sony a7 IV. So today I'm gonna walk you guys through why we chose to buy this camera, what makes it stand out, and how it compares to other cameras in its price range. So we have been looking at getting a new camera for a while, and after months of going back and forth between different options, we finally landed on Sony's newest hybrid camera, the Sony a7 IV. So really there's a lot you can say about this camera, but there are three major things that really drew us into purchasing this and choosing it over our other options. Uh, and first and foremost, in my opinion, I think it's Sony's S-Log capabilities. Now, if you're unfamiliar with S-Log or log formats in general, uh, they're basically a way to shoot more of a blank canvas of an image. If you're more familiar with photography, it's kind of like shooting in raw, and it essentially allows you to have greater creative control once you take that footage into post. Uh, it's almost like shooting on a blank canvas of sorts. Uh, it makes coloring and you know general corrections just more flexible. And Sony's S-Log is pretty undoubtedly the best log format on the market. The second thing that drew us into this camera is really just Sony's user friendliness. I've worked with a lot of different cameras and a lot of different brands of cameras over the years. And I have to say personally, I think Sony does probably the best job at just being overall functional and easy to grasp. Uh, and I mean that both literally and figuratively. Uh, you know, it feels good in your hands. It just feels like a solid, high quality piece of equipment. Um, and when you get into the menu settings, it's really the same thing. They're just super easy to navigate. Uh, if you're coming from another camera, there's obviously still going to be a learning curve, but in general, Sony menu settings are some of the easiest to understand. This camera also comes with a variety of customizable buttons, which are very useful, especially in run and gun style productions, where you need to be able to adjust settings quickly on the fly. And a lot of the productions that we do are more of that quick run and gun style, so it's super convenient just to be able to quickly press a button and be in my white balance settings, be able to switch from autofocus to manual focus super easily. It's just things like that that make this such an enjoyable camera to work with. Finally, the third major selling point for us for this camera, let's face it, is the price. Now, when we bought this camera, we bought it at $2,500 retail, uh, which puts it way below the mark of the Sony a7S III or FX3, for example. And with all the features that this camera has to offer, I personally feel like that price is kind of a steal. At $2,500, it's in the same price point as the Blackmagic 6K Pro, which is a beautiful cinema camera in its own right. So with that being said, why did we choose the Sony a7 IV over a camera like the Blackmagic 6K Pro? Well, there's a lot of factors that go into that, but really it just comes down to what we were looking for and what we felt we needed out of a camera. Like I mentioned before, a lot of the stuff that we do is more run and gun style productions. We do a lot of wedding videos. Uh, we do a lot of interviews where we have to then go immediately turn around, throw the camera on a gimbal and shoot B-roll. We do a lot of real estate videography, a lot of things that require us to be able to have a camera that is just easy to use, easy to change settings, easy to switch from one mode to another and get the job done effectively. So when you compare it to a camera like the Blackmagic 6K Pro, it just doesn't have those kind of features. It's just not built for that. Um, you know, it doesn't have autofocus, say what you want about autofocus, but it does come in handy in some situations. Um, it doesn't have internal camera stabilization. There's a lot of things that just make the Sony a7 IV the perfect camera for us. Now the FX3 and the a7S III, the two other Sony cameras that I mentioned earlier, are frankly better video cameras. If you're looking for a camera that is only meant to shoot video and you have the budget for it, those are better cameras for it. Uh, it's important to keep in mind that the a7 IV is a hybrid camera. It's meant for both photo and video, whereas the a7S III and FX3 are geared more just to the video side. Um, but the drop-off really isn't that significant, and for us at least, it didn't justify spending that extra $1,000, $1,500, $2,000 uh, 
uh, on an A7S III or an FX3. So some of the things that this camera can kind of struggle with when it comes to video are, for example, in 4K at 60 frames per second, which is basically the highest tier video quality you can possibly shoot on on this camera, uh, you can struggle with some overheating issues depending on the conditions, and then it does not perform as well in low light. But like I said, this wasn't significant of a difference enough for us to justify spending the extra money, and we love the fact that this camera has insanely good photo capabilities. We can use it for thumbnails, we can use it for behind the scenes, we can use it for just everyday photos to help our business and support our brand. So this was really the camera for us and we absolutely love it so far and really have not much bad to say about what this camera does and what it's done for us. Thank you guys for tuning in and make sure you keep a lookout for our next video, especially if you like this one because we're gonna take a deeper dive into the a7 IV and I'm gonna show you how I color grade S-Log footage in Adobe Premiere. So thank you again for watching and make sure you leave a comment. If you happen to have this camera or another Sony camera, let us know your thoughts, let us know what your experience has been uh, and make sure you drop a like and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.